So we've been talking a lot about different reading strategies that you can use when you're approaching a challenging word in a text. I just want to go over one that we talked about at the very beginning of the year. Um, so I have been listening to a lot of the recordings that we've been doing on Raz Kids, and everyone's doing a really awesome job using the picture power strategy, looking at the pictures. I hear some people taking their time sounding out the words, looking at the beginning sound, and chunking it. But I've been noticing that sometimes we're so excited to read a book that we are just rushing, rushing, rushing through the book and we're getting so excited to go on to the next word that we're not paying enough attention and we're accidentally skipping a word or two. So we definitely don't want to do that because then sometimes we might miss a word that's really important for us to know. So let's t go over a really cool strategy that we talked about at the beginning of the year that's going to help you when you're reading a book not skip over any of those important words that you're going to need. So you can use, um, this is the pointer strategy, you could use your finger, that's an excellent pointer. If you're on the computer or using a book, you can point using your finger to each word. Another th thing you can do is, if you want to make it a little more interesting and fun, you can use a pen, or we use these in class, so you can find something in your house that's long and has a point at the end so that you can point to each word. This will just help you take your time and really, really focus on making sure you're reading this word, then this word, then the next word. So I want to show you how we could use the pointer strategy on a page in this book that we um, are now pretty familiar with. So if I was going to use the pointer strategy, I first want to um, make sure that I am starting off at the very first word on the page. I don't want to skip any words here. So A. Now this word I might want to try chunking for too and look at that beginning sound. sl -ide. Oh, and if I use my picture power, I check. That looks right. A slide. A slide for you to go and down. That didn't make sense to me. I must have skipped a word when I was pointing. Let me take my time and really point slowly so I can make sure I get every word. A slide for you to go up and down. Now that I've read it one time, I may even want to read it again a little bit quicker to work on my fluency. So, a slide for you to go up and down. And that makes sense and I pointed to each word. If you're pointing, we talked about this at the beginning of the year, and you say, okay, a slide for you to go up and down, and you end up on not a word, then you know, uh-oh, something went wrong here. I didn't end up on the right word. So that means I probably wasn't pointing to each word. Take your time and make sure you have one point, then you pick it up, point to the next word. I cannot wait to hear you making sure that you're pointing and reading every word in the books that you're recording. Good luck!